It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see teams who have been division rivals since 1961. It's the Philadelphia Eagles and the Dallas Cowboys. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Dallas Cowboys. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you talk about stories in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And we will not get a run back here to start. It's a touchback, and it will come out to the 25. So now here comes the Eagles offense as they get ready to take over. Now they're brought out by a man drafted over a decade ago out of Arizona, has made at least one start in every season. That's Nick Foles. When you look at Nick Foles' career in total, you wonder yourself at times, why has he not been a consistent starter in the league? Because when he's on, he can take a team to the Super Bowl and win it, as he did with Philadelphia. Easy, easy. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. Knifes his way forward here, but just three yards on the play, second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, a bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Foles. And the timing a bit off that time as that one falls to the ground. Not sure what happened out there, but it looked like the timing was a little off on that throw. Now, you know I'm a defender, so what am I going to say? Great defense. And darn right. They did something to disrupt that timing. A tough spot here on their opening drive. This is third and seven. There's Foles. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. The Eagles send out their punter now. He'll kick it away after a three and out on the opening drive of the game. Yeah, Sanders now to return. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So now we'll get a look at the other offensive unit as they come out for their first possession. And they will be led out by their 6-3 quarterback. We're seeing it more and more in this league, how teams love to have athletes back there taking the snaps, guys who can throw it and move around and get yards with their legs if needed. He's one of the best examples that we see out there right now. He can throw for hundreds of yards one week and then run for 100 plus the next. He adds an extra dimension that really confounds defenses when he puts it all together. Now a play fake here on first down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Josh Sweat rushing in and bringing him down to the ground. And so much for that great field position to start the game. Now they're way behind the sticks. Can't wait to see what their second down call is going to look like now. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. They'll set up to throw. This little short throw to Witten. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. And that was 
those yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back. But now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Here is third down and four. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there, a loss of six yards on the sack. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. And this one hits at the one, continues on into the end zone for a touchback. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion, guys a little I bit don't, jumpy. But you do. Oh, you, you understand the same way. It's just like <laughs> us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. <laughs> They throw right away, and that's complete out on the right side. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. They went three and out on their first drive. Things already looking better here, first and 10. Now Foles. He'll get this one complete. That's A.J. Brown. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Now an inside give to McCoy. And good penetration here. He'll get this down only to about the 49-yard line. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. Over the middle, that's caught by Owens. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 36. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Out of the pistol, it's McCoy. Powers through. And he'll get it inside the 35. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. From the 34-yard line, here's a second and eight. On play action. Oh, he's got him in wide open, complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 21. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. He finds McCoy. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Throwing again on second down. Foles, and he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? They'll look to throw again. A.J. 
A.J. Brown from three yards out. And the Eagles will claim the early lead as they're on the board first here tonight. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Out comes the kicking team here for the extra point. He's got it, and the Eagles lead at 7-zip. So that drive, 80 yards, 9 plays. And it's capped off by an A.J. Brown touchdown. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. And the last drive, their first drive, three and out. What changes here, if anything? I think it's making sure the guys that you trust the most with the ball the biggest playmakers you have, that they touch it on this possession to try and get things moving. So get it to the horses. Without a doubt, they're the ones that typically end up in the end zone. They'll try and start this drive in the air. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well and that one's incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he'll want that one back. Incomplete. He doesn't drop too many in that department. Third down. How about that? Red man coverage and decided to test them early. But they proved up to the task and forced the incompletion. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. Looking to throw. They'll set up the screen to Smith. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. It's a four-yard return following a punt of 49. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll drop to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside, and my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. From the 21, it's second and 10. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. Over the middle here to Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. They'll look to throw now on first down. That would almost intercept it, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Well, I'd say a couple people didn't get the read correct, huh? Zone coverage. Linebacker dropped right into the proper spot. 
Lucky that one wasn't picked off. He was looking directly in his eyes as he threw the football, and you're right, it was telegraphed, probably should have been picked. On second down, it's McCoy. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. Pretty good little two-play sequence there. You force the incompletion, then a very short pickup. Yeah, now maybe you bring in an extra defensive back or two because you want to try to defend on third down. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Yeah, the Cowboys here on third down bringing in an extra defensive back. And now some motion before the snap. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. He'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. We'll see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A nifty bit of scrambling there. 12 yards, first down. That's the first time he's called his own number, but he's got to be overjoyed with the results. He wasn't just going to settle for a modest gain. To me, he was determined to come through with a big message to a defense that slept on him in the pocket. A handoff, Dorsett up the middle. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing in the line of scrimmage. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now, during that run, an injury here. We got one of those big blockers in some discomfort. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And he's brought down. 11 more on that one, and another first down. An ex-teammate used to tell me all the time, I hate experienced quarterbacks because no matter what, you really can't hide what you're doing. And I think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. I was just going to ask you, that wasn't the primary target. He's so good at that, isn't he? I think he knew right away that he wasn't going to get to his primary guy. I think he read that as soon as he got to the line of scrimmage, knew where the pressure was going to come from, and said, I, I know how to beat that, and that's what he did. carry for Smith and he edges forward but only gets a pair of yards out of it and it's second down well, we talk about defenders specifically linebackers keeping their eyes in the right spot he had that eye down the entire time and you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you they try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place but you're right about that one he correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play a second down pass play there but it's incomplete
Eighth play of the drive forthcoming, and they need eight yards on third down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. And this one is right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7-3. So, Charles, they are on the board after that kick. So, three drives, three points. Obviously not the start that you were hoping for, but they're able to erase that zero off the scoreboard. Yeah, I guess what you're saying is a point of drive is not what offenses are striving for by any stretch. They're happy they've got three now. They hope that that unlocks their offense for bigger points down the road. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. Philadelphia's offense ready to give us another look. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Trying for Brown, and it's intercepted. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw or maybe the ball's tipped or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result. They go play action here on first down. He finds his man complete. It's Hayes. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. Smith is the lone man in the backfield here as they get ready for second and goal. They'll give it to him again. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. A five-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. I know the play ends up in the end zone with one person carrying the ball, but how about that big mass of humanity that guided him to that spot? Yeah, they got there, but I love the dive. Always a fan of the dive. No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. 
And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Foles throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. So here's a first and ten at the thirty-eight, as they've got it. As we resume action, back to throw now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play, at its second down. He'll look to throw. Man up the left side as well. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 11 yards for number 11. Well, they brought the pressure, and that meant man coverage behind him, so he's still able to complete the pass. Even as he took the hit. And that's what you have to do, because I was just talking with a coach the other day, and he said, look, it's not always going to be pretty back there. You're going to have to give me completions. Even when you're taking some hits, sometimes you have to be your own blitz control, for lack of a better term. Got to make completions step up and make those throws, and he did that. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Second down and four. Foles. He finds his man complete. That's Owens. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Well, that's now four completions in a row. A good bounce back following the interception last drive. Certainly not letting it affect him, that's for sure. And we all know interceptions are going to happen. So the big trick, don't let it affect you going forward. Most of the good quarterbacks, they just tell the ball boy, get that one out of the rotation. Give me a fresh ball, and let's go. He's got his offense moving again. And down inside the 15 he goes. It's another first down as they look his way again, this time 19 yards. And another thing that makes a comeback route really effective is that oftentimes after you've made the initial move, receiver's breaking away from the defensive back, and that makes it a really tough play to defend. A nice chunk of yardage picked up there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. There's Foles. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their head space. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Right up to that point, I was about to say, he's had a pretty good half catching the football, but let's just be honest about it. He should have caught that one. And he knows that. That was one right in his bread basket and one he normally catches. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have him looking at third and ten. Again, he'll drop to throw. To the sideline and incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. And his kick is indeed good. And that will knot us up at 10. 
So they put together a good little drive there, but ultimately stalling out in the red zone. Yeah, I know a lot of people look at it as a little bit of a negative. They didn't get six points out of it, right? Didn't get the touchdown. But that's actually okay. They got three points, able to give their defense a little bit of rest, let them settle down over there. So all in all, to me, that's a good drive. All level now at 10 apiece as the kick's away. This is Tony Pollard, fielded just outside the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Cowboys about set to take over on offense. Now a play fake here on first down. They find some open field here. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. This guy's proven himself to be one of the best in the NFL. He brings an added dimension to their offense with his ability to read defenses and know when he's able to pull it down and take off and go. And they'll let the quarterback keep it here on first and 10. And he probably should have given that one off as he's going to get hit and taken down behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Well, he'd had success earlier in the drive keeping it himself. Not here, though. And sometimes when you have that kind of success, you can fall in love with the option a little bit too much and not give the defense credit for making adjustments themselves. And that play starts to lose its effectiveness. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That's two really good stops in a row. Back-to-back -back tackles for losses. I mean, let's face it. They are locked in to what they're doing offensively. And now they've earned the right to rush the passer on third down, haven't they? Yeah, and offensively they're going to have to do something else because the run game, at least on this drive, isn't working. They'll run the draw with Dorsett. And he'll take this to the 47, but no further as they get him down well short of the line to gain. Four yards on the pick up there, but it's going to take him to fourth down. As much as I praise teams for being true to who they are, in this situation, I wonder if maybe they outguessed themselves a little bit. Third down seemed like an obvious passing situation. They chose to run it and then get anywhere close to the first down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on here to punt it away. This is away and a very good kick angled for the sidelines. And this will depend on the spot as it sails out of bounds. And they'll say it sailed out at the 10-yard line. Here comes Eagle offense now as they get set to take over here. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Now Foles. Throwing right, and that's complete. And able to get this one out just shy of the 25 at the 24. First down yardage on the first play of the drive, 14 yards. Up the middle, here's McCoy. Nowhere to go that time. Might have gotten a yard up to the 25. The passing game's been working quite well so far, but the running game's been a little bit of a struggle, and that's a surprise to me. Typically, when you can throw it, you've opened up lanes for your runners. From the 25, here's a second and nine. Foles, he'll run with it. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. And if you like defensive football, focus on the defensive end on this play. He does everything exactly right. Reads the play and makes sure he spills it for a small gain. 
The Eagles on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and eight. He'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now that was pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage. And that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, a tight, a sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area. So you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, they've been back on their heels a little bit here on this drive, but a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. They'll set up to throw. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. They'll get only three there, so it leaves them with a third and seven ahead. And that's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Back to throw again. Into space at the 45. And I don't think he got there. No. He's short by maybe a foot. Maybe. Call it fourth and inches. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And it's out of bounds. Now we'll see what the side judge says. He says out at the eight-yard line. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. Like it's been as negative as he just got back to the line of scrimmage, but when you really analyze it, he took away a big play for the defense, made it an uneventful run because he avoided a sack and didn't lose yardage. Back to throw now on second and ten. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And he's certainly not a guy that drops that football very often. Indeed, because that's a bit of a surprise. I know he's in the middle of some traffic and people, bodies all around him, but he usually has the focus to haul that one in. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. They're going to look to throw. Oh, he had he was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Had to pass there, third and long on your own side of the field. Just couldn't come up with anything. That's why teams always talk about having to win the early downs, meaning you've got to gain yardage and set yourself up for third and short because when it's third and long, the odds go down significantly trying to pick up the first down, even throwing the football. So from their own end zone here, this kicks away. On the return, Jackson. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. So good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 43. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Caught by the tight end, Ertz. A big play there for Philly. 44 yards. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off.
So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. From the shotgun, it's a give to McCoy. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. 14 yards. And the Eagles have taken the lead. A solid blocking up front from the guys on the offensive line allowed him to get in for the touchdown. Yeah, some might say that the guys on the offensive line were in concert. I used to have a coach who called it marrying up, meaning when you get on a guy, you just stay right there, and each guy has his own assignment. That allowed the runner to make the big move towards the end zone. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 17-10 score. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Here's the Dallas offense now heading back out onto the field. They find themselves down 17-10 as they come up on a first and 10. They begin with a run by Smith. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Not a huge play, but I think they're more than happy with how it turned out. Don't be surprised to see them revisit that call because there was a lane there for more than just five yards. Put it in your back pocket and break it out when you need it later. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. They'll run it again with Smith. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we've got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll look to throw here on first down. They dump it off, complete to Dorsett. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. So they'll get eight out of that completion. And it'll be second in a couple. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis of this first half of action. And this one complete to Witten over the middle. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 45-yard line. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. First down now, but the clock continues to move. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. This is caught inside the 15. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. It's a gain of 35. That's a great job of working the sideline right there. I love how he tracked the football the whole way. Just reached up and pulled it in. Had excellent field presence to understand where he was in order to make that play happen. So now, following the big play, they've got a first and goal all the way down at the 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And oh, it'll be intercepted. And the Eagles are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. CD, when he went to throw that, I'm not sure if he just didn't see where the defense was. Whatever the case, not the throw you're looking for on first and goal. Not at all, because, look, let's face it, that close to the goal line, if you throw an interception, is going to hurt on any down. But really, the only down you can kind of live with is if you do it on fourth down. The first three, if you don't have it wide open, 
Just get rid of it. Make sure they can't get it and live to fight another down. First and goal and you throw the pick, not good at all. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Throw left side complete. That's Brown. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Now second and seven from the 23. Now back to throw, and he'll check this one down to McCoy. And he'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. And on third down, the Cowboys bring in an extra defensive back. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here comes third in the length of the football. They'll drop to throw. He finds McCoy. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. The Eagles send out their punter now as he's on to punt for the fourth time tonight. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And control of the football switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. Going right side, he has Winton. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds incomplete. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point.
One touchdown is the difference. 17-10 our score, and we are back underway on EA Sports. On the return, Tony Pollard from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. The Cowboy offense set to go to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is incomplete. Give him credit for excellent coverage, tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Looking to throw, and this is caught by Witten, the tight end. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. Well, that's always a good place to throw it just because he's one of the biggest targets not only on this team, but in the National Football League. And you and I both know the quarterbacks love these large body tight ends, and why not? Nowadays, they're really wide receivers who are just taller and have a little bit more weight. These guys catch the football, make big plays downfield. In the old days, we wanted them to block. Now coaches want to catch the football first. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. That was simply snap, rock, and fire. I mean, they didn't take long at all. Slant route, and I loved where he put it. He put on the body of the receiver low so that only he can catch it. Yeah, I don't think there was any magical formula there. Defensively, that's just tough to defend. Very much so. And that way, it allows the receiver to keep his body in front of the defender and not allow him to go through him to knock the ball away. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He finds Smith out of the backfield. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. On second down, here's Smith. And this has been a recurring theme tonight for sure. Nowhere to run. Back to the line of scrimmage, that's all. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And incomplete here to bring up fourth down as the rookie couldn't haul it in. And so many times we look at the opening drive of the third quarter as a tone setter, and many coaches do emphasize it. And that's a strong performance there defensively to force the incompletion, and more importantly, force a quick punting situation. Out now comes the Cowboys punter. He's been terrific so far. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. Foles. And that's going to be caught downfield by Brown. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 
He got 29 yards that time. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Here's Foles. His throw incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And, yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Now Foles. And oh, he's unable to hold on to that defensively. A potential game changer, but it falls incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. So now third and 10, a big play to start the drive, but nothing since. On play action, they'll throw. And it is caught. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 34-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give him 25 yards. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Now a first down carry here for McCoy. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. He had had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one? Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Ball on the 27. Here's second and four. Again, it's McCoy. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Offensive line wasn't set. There's the flag, and five yards back they go. Quarterback has to look around and make sure that his team is ready to go. Sometimes the quarterbacks go faster than is necessary. Now after the false start, they need eight yards here on third down. Here comes the blitz as they look to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. This Cowboy defense looked ready for that third down pass. Brings up fourth. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range. No sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. And this one is right down the middle. And they double him up here. That makes our score 20 to 10. So the lead grows here incrementally, but I think the way their defense is playing, you feel okay with just getting three. They've definitely been stout so far, but now that can all change because if one guy gets loose for 70 yards, this is a different game. But as it stands, field goals are good. Just keep adding to that lead. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Pollard elects to keep it, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? You, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. 
And he's going to be dropped following a pickup of seven past the 30 to the 32. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. They'll look to throw. Over the middle, Dorsett. That one, a first down pickup of eight. We often talk about understanding the playbook, understanding progressions, and understanding what the defense is doing. We saw all of that on that play. Great recognition and understood where his running back was going to be. Found a way to have him leak out underneath, hit him with the football, and they picked up the first down. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 33 yards that time. And you need a big play? Go to your big play guy. Listen, that's football 101. When you have to have it, you expect that guy to step up. A lot of people call these receivers divas. Sometimes just leadership when they get in the huddle and say, get me the ball, I'm about to make a big play. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Inside handoff, Smith. Yeah, he'll work free from one tackle, but that's about all as he's taken down. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 14. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. It's taken a while for this offense to get going. A little creaky at the start, but they're oiled up now. A nice throw there, and they're really putting together a good drive. From the shotgun, they run with Smith. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Second and seven. Up the middle they go with Dorsett. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Again, it'll be Dorsett. That'll back him up two yards and also bring up fourth. Well, we saw a lot of negative plays that resulted in plenty of lost yardage in the first half, and that trend is continuing here. So now on fourth down, Mike McCarthy will turn to his field goal unit. This will be spotted at the 20, so it's a 30-yard attempt. And his kick is right there. It's good. And that will tighten this one up a bit. Now a one-score game at 20 to 13. So three points, maybe not a grand prize at this stage, but it does get them back within one score. It certainly does because now they stay within shouting distance. So that means everyone on your sideline stays engaged in this game. They know they still have a shot. Now, after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Eagles offense back out, getting set for this next drive. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, 
that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. A throw left side to start the drive is complete. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here, second and a yard from the 34. Quick throw out wide by Foles. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. The extra effort after the catch makes it good for a gain of 26 and also a first down. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback and receiver reading the pressure that was brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake at the line of scrimmage, got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride, and he was able to run free after the catch. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 right at the 40. They'll set up a throw. Going to drop this off to McCoy, complete. Call it a gain of three on the play, and it's second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Looking to throw again on second down. Foles, he finds his man complete. It's Owens. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. 23 yards the pick up there. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Tenth carry now for McCoy. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. I'm no offensive mastermind, but of all the guys on the field to block, you might want to stop him. Look, I've got a very simple rule. An unblocked defender is usually your best defender, and he ended up making the play there. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. It's the Eagles in possession of the football and leading this one as we get ready to start the final quarter. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. They'll look to throw here. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. There's a reason it's our linebackers are often captains of a defense. They call the signals, they have the opportunity to affect the game in coverage, against the run, and of course on blitzes. Living in the best of both worlds here. Already has an interception. Now he gets to record a sack, too. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to make it a two-score game. And his kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. Pollard to return from the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. And out now come the Cowboys. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly.
They'll come out throwing here on first down. This little short throw to Witten. And he'll be out right at the 35. 17 yards on the catch and run. It's a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Smith up the middle. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. Nice satisfying run on first down for the offense, picking up five, which means defensively, the thought process is entirely different. You don't want to panic, but at the same time, you're saying to each other, we've got to tighten this down. We can't give up gains like that. Ball at the 40 here for second and five. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. 63 yards receiving for him now, and that last catch good enough for a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. This little short throw to Witten, and he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. All right, this is the time of the game where they're down a couple scores, and they've really got to get some yards in chunks, and they know the defense doesn't want to give those up, but they've got to find a way to take them anyway. Now the question is, can they string a few of those together? So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line. On the counter, it's Smith. And he'll snag about five yards down to the 32. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out-leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. From the 32-yard line now, here's second and five. He'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. That's Hayes. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. 68 yards receiving now for him in the game. Had a first down on that last catch as well. Of course, the catch was nice, but how about what happened after? Able to stay on his feet and gain all that additional yardage. So many of these slot guys... I think have running back in their background. On the give, this is Dorsett. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. You don't see that a ton, do you? Or the cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field sees that the ball's moved to the middle, and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well, and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Well, Fletcher Cox, he's been doing this for a lot of years, and another sack to his ledger there. And no matter what the situation, the O-line just hates that because they feel like they didn't protect little brother back there, right? Man, that's just so difficult for them because just think about every single play. When you decide to throw the football, you're dealing with some of the best athletes on the planet. You talk about guys that they weren't playing. And he's going to go down again. Looks like a nine-yard loss. And it also brings up four. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has not received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. And this one looks good, it is good. Right down the pipe, and this is back down to a seven point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back, preferably a takeaway.
Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and 10. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why those quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. Out of the shotgun, it's McCoy. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The Eagles on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This will be third and five. Back to throw. And that is incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. The Eagles send out their punter now, as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. And a fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 18-yard line. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. First down, he'll drop to throw. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant. A lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. There's no question that coming into this game, this defense was pretty vocal about his desire to take this running back out of his game. And all that pregame wolfing has turned into results. Looking to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. I can assure you setting up a screen is much more difficult than it appears. It requires excellent timing from everyone on the offense, and a defense's number one goal is to throw that timing off. Now, now comes the Cowboys punter, as he'll come on to kick for a six time tonight. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Here's Jackson to return. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards, well struck. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. So first and 10 now from the 30. They'll start on the ground with McCoy. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. 
Foles throw here complete into the hands of Ertz. They'll give him four yards there. And now third down and six to go. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that pickup of a first down, that's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? That's so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or takeaway. Otherwise, this one will probably get away from them. They go play action here on first down. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. And the Cowboys are right back in this football game. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. Good starting position for the Cowboys here as they come up first and 10 at the 40. They'll start this drive out on the ground. He juked him. Well, hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Well, hopefully, obviously, nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, are going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. From the 48-yard line, here's second and a couple. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. This little short throw to Ritten. Eighth catch for him now. He's been a big factor. And it's a first down. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Now a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. Now he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A good pick up there on 20 yards. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. They'll look to throw now on first down. Well, it's caught on the right side at Smith. So the completion good for seven there, and it'll be second down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. Eluding the pressure right. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. His running ability has been an extra dimension of their game plan thus far. For once, though, he doesn't create any magic against the front that's prepared for him to try and take off. 
Second down, goal to go. Back to throw. Touchdown, Cowboys! C.D. Lamb from four yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. Well, the hard part's done. Now they just need to split the post, tie it up, but then their defense is going to have to hold up to send it to overtime. Yeah, no matter what. I know there's an inclination in it when you have momentum to go for two here, but if you miss it, you don't give your defense a chance at all. Plus, it's been a good game. I want to see overtime. I'm selfish. <laughs> you obviously don't have a flight to catch. Tomorrow. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And, partner, we've got a tie game here in the fourth. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. Well, partner, here it is. They've got the chance to win the game. You'd have to think they need to get it near the opposite 40 to have a chance to kick a game-winning field goal. We'll see what they can do. And you're right about that, because if we look at it in macro, that's what it looks like. But I think in micro, the head coach has already asked the special teams coach, what is he feeling? What does he think? Where does he want the football? What's the yard line we have to get? And he's already relayed that to his quarterback and his offense. They know what the goal is. Now the key, can they get there? And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. 20 of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and 10 now. Able to find Ertz. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Here's second and a yard. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. Here comes second down. There's Foles. He finds his man complete. It's Owens. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Now they can only stop it once more. Here's first and ten. Now an inside game in the core. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four. Second down. They're making steady progress, but I see your face. You're worried about that clock. I'm worried about the clock, and at some point, you have to have a splash play in there as well. Second and six coming up. They'll go again to McCoy. Fighting his way down to about the 35-yard line. And now with four seconds left, we get a timeout call. And now this game's going to come down to the right leg of their kicker. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break.
So on is their kicker, and it's down to this. This from 52, and this for the win. And this one is right down Broadway. And the Eagles are going to win the football game. What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from AT&T Stadium.